Lodge in it now, but people actually got lost in the aisles on their first visit. <laughs> Think of a supermarket, double it. Add a department store with clothes, furniture, hardware, refrigerators and television sets, all self-service. And you've some idea of Britain's first hypermarket. They claim that everything here is cheaper. But did the shopkeepers of Kerfilly fear losing their customers to this new shopping miracle on their doorstep? I don't think so. They may go down there, you know, out of curiosity for the first week, but I think they'll drift back shortly. Do you think it's going to do a lot of damage to the shops here? Well, uh, there'll be a fair amount of competition, I should imagine. Well, I think it's here to stay. It's one of those things we've got to absorb into the trade as we have been doing. Well, this load of groceries actually came to exactly five pounds. Now, the shopkeepers of Caffilly don't seem particularly worried about the coming of the new hypermarket, but tomorrow I'm going to go along there. I'm going to buy exactly the same things that I've bought today, and I'm going to see whether I get any change from five pounds. For weeks before uh, they came, they were advertising uh, on television the fact that Carrefour, the first hypermarket in Britain, would be opening, and uh, people just turned up in droves, literally thousands and miles of traffic jams. Well, for the local businesses in the town, it was absolutely devastating. 40% at least went overnight. And our intrepid reporter found that the people of Kerfilly were generally happy with the new store, if a little confused. If you've never been in a place like this before, you don't know which way to go. The aisles, I find, are a bit confusing. You can't always get near the counter. Well, we came with some friends. We haven't seen them since. We walked in with them and we've lost. We, you know, they're in and out the counters and we've missed them somewhere. Walking into Carrefour for the first time was like walking into an aircraft hangar. It looked like an aircraft hangar. And to see 40 checkouts was unbelievable. There, under one roof, you could buy anything you wanted, from food to a fridge freezer. And it was absolutely amazing to me. And the customers on the first day were overwhelmed. Very cheap, but oh, the queue was terrible. You know, you couldn't get any in, no pies or nothing. In Piccadilly, I paid 14 pence for it, and now it's 11 pence here. Yeah. Well, that's three pence is here, isn't it? But how much would our investigative reporter save on her five-pound basket of groceries? Well, there we are, four pounds fifty-one, a definite saving. The only problem I can see in this place is it's rather wearing on your feet, buying your bargains. <laughs>